And we do not need people, um, just everybody get blanket health care. We do not need that. We need our freedom to choose. We don't need the government in our bank accounts, in our health care accounts. We don't need any of that. Canada under the Canadian Health Service has half the risk of dying in pregnancy as an American woman in pregnancy does. That's that's intolerable. But single payer isn't even on the table in Washington because the big players in healthcare, insurance and drug companies, hospitals and health professionals, have spent three billion dollars since two thousand convincing Congress to ignore it. I am mad as hell. I've had enough of this. I want to go back and take care of patients. And the health insurance industry, the way it is now, is getting between me and my patients in a way that Medicare never does. Give me Medicare for all. I'll be happy as can be. Have you had any problems with your ears? Is it going to be harder to go to the doctor when you need to go to the doctor? It should be ten times easier. If we had a single payer, everybody in the country would have all their payments made by the same organization, a public agency, and all the doctors and hospitals would all be private. You could choose among any of them. You have a, you have a universal identification card, just like a credit card or a bank card would be. Mm -hmm. That card identifies you. You go to the pharmacy, you give them that card, they give you your prescription, no charge. 
Okay. okay, I like it. Our fellow Americans are suffering and dying needlessly. That's why I'm mad as hell. Thank you. Americans have the dubious distinction of being the only country in the developed world where people are going bankrupt from their medical bills. Doesn't happen in Canada, England, Germany, Switzerland, Scandinavia, uh, Israel, Japan, Taiwan. I could go on and on. All those countries deliver quality health care for much less than we pay for it. Everybody, nobody goes bankrupt, and they do it for less money. I can remember calling United on a daily basis saying, you understand, if this medication doesn't, doesn't happen, I'm going to be really sick, I'm going to be out of work, everything's going to go down the tubes. So sure enough, in May of this year, I had radical surgery, surgery that put me in the hospital for over two weeks and out of work for two months. Have you had any trouble sleeping? So do you take... Let me look at your ears. Okay. And so we were scanning, and you'll hear...